Welcome back, go doers. As we've seen in past videos, building a beautiful website for your business is easier than ever before with Odoo, but we've only used a tiny fraction of the supremely unique, fully functional building blocks that Odoo makes available to its users, all of which help immensely with your overall web design. With the right web design, you'll not only impress new visitors with an eye-catching aesthetic, you'll also enhance the overall customer experience by offering vital information and organic calls to action that'll boost your business, keep your visitors engaged, Engaged and attract new customers. And the best and easiest way to accomplish that goal of superior web design is through strategic placement, use, and configuration of key building blocks. That's what I'm trying to figure out for my company, Stealthy Wood. So let's take a closer look at some of these building blocks. All right, here we are on Stealthy Wood's gorgeous homepage. Let's hop into the edit mode and see what Odoo has to offer as far as building blocks go. And we're gonna start with the structure section. And most of these blocks are self-explanatory. So we're gonna start with the features block, which I'm gonna drag and drop to the bottom of my page. Now, this block is like the columns block, only it uses simplistic icons rather than images. This is a fantastic way for companies to quickly summarize aspects of their business to new customers who may be curious about these kinds of details. Next, we're gonna drop the um, masonry block. And this visually stimulating layout can be incredibly useful for companies who focus on design and want to present information about their business in a similarly appealing way. And of course, like every other building block in Odoo's website builder, it is entirely customizable, so you can quickly and easily personalize any aspect or detail to fit your company's needs in just a few clicks. All right, now we have the image gallery, um, the images wall, and the carousel block um, as well, which all essentially perform the same function, but with various layouts and design elements, making each collection of photos and images unique and beautiful. Then we have the media list block, and this is a visually striking list of content that can be found throughout your website. Each piece of media has its thumbnail image and synopsis. Showcase, after that, is the features block, but presented in a slightly different, more stylized way. Then lastly, we have the parall parallax block. Now, this is super cool because um, it offers a visual break that doesn't negatively affect the page's overall flow. Um, so if I um, scroll up and down, we're gonna see how the image tucks away, which is cool. And it's a phenomenal way to showcase your products um, in an extremely artistic fashion. All right, so let's move on to the features section. And we're gonna start with the comparisons block, of course, which I can drag and drop here um, over the parallax block, but I'm going to drag it and drop it at the bottom. Now this block is perfect for companies that sell varying packages or services and want to showcase their different price levels to inquisitive customers or visitors, I should say. <laughs> Then we have the team block. Now this is a great um, uh, block to use for businesses looking to win over new customers. This block is an awesome way to humanize your company and give props to your hardworking team members as well. Then we have our call to action block, uh, which is fairly basic. It, um, it just is a break in the page with concise copy, quickly encouraging visitors to navigate to another section of the website for one reason or another. All right, and then we have our references block, which I'm gonna quickly drag and drop as well. Um, and this is just another fantastic way to prove your legitimacy to new visitors. Um, once they have seen this uh, group of familiar companies who also support and or work alongside your company, they'll be more likely to give you the same trust. And the minimalistic way uh, these references are displayed isn't jarring or disruptive. Everything is incredibly cohesive and stylized, which is really nice. All right, then we're gonna go ahead and check out the accordion block. And this is great for companies that need to succinctly present technical complexities or legal jargon to potential customers without getting in the way of the overall web design. Right after that, we have our features grid and our table of content. Uh, but now I'm gonna go directly to the priceless block, which I'm gonna drag and drop to my page. And this is ideal for showing off um, your menu if you're if you're a restaurant. Um, but this block could also be used to artistically display the varying values of items or services one might find in the e-commerce portion of any company's website, regardless of industry. All right, then we have our items block. And this is a tremendous way to showcase featured products that you can link directly to product pages in your eShop. 
This way, a customer could potentially purchase an item from your online store in just a few clicks, which sounds pretty nice, doesn't it? <laughs> All right, rounding out the features section of building blocks, um, we also have um, tabs, which is a useful block designed to creatively present a few different categories of content to your customers in one efficient space. Following that, um, we have the timeline block, which offers a visually pleasing way to quickly share the history and evolution of your company. And we also have steps as well as quotes. Now let's go down to the dynamic content section of the building blocks. And all of these have more detailed features, but are just as easy to customize and configure as the others that we've seen. The level of intricate design and detail that these blocks add to a website is truly phenomenal. So definitely take advantage. Now, the first one we have is form, but I go over forms um, in greater detail in another video. So we're going to skip that one for now. Then we have Google Map. Now, the Google Map block um, shows visitors exactly where they can find your business. But of course, you'd have to enter a specific Google API key and credentials to configure this properly. Uh, but still, Odoo makes it all incredibly easy to set up in just a couple of seconds. Now, both the dynamic uh, snippet and dynamic carousel blocks provide similar features, only just in um, different customi customizable layouts. Then we have our blog, po blog post block. That's a tongue twister if you say it 10 times fast. And I'm going to drag that one over. And um, this is a wonderful way to get more eyes on your content, which does nothing but boost your traffic and SEO ranking. Then after that, we have um, our newsletter blocks, our newsletter pop-ups, and then just our regular pop-up block, which I will also drag and drop. Now, the pop having a pop-up is an awesome way to stop the visitor in their tracks by offering them a promotional discount or an encouraging call to action that they'll have to decide on before continuing um, to the rest of your site. All right, then there's Facebook, Countdown, Discussion Group, and Twitter Scroller, which are all pretty self-explanatory as well, but just as important and useful to any website's design. Finally, we have our inner content section, which is exactly what it sounds like. It's full of design elements that help organize the information and content in your current building blocks. Things like the separator, alert, rating, card, share, newsletter, text highlight, chart, progress bar, badge, and block quote. And they are all there to help you create a truly personalized, professional grade website for your company in just a few clicks. Now, as you can see, Odoo gives you plenty of ways to build a beautiful website website of your own without any coding knowledge or experience whatsoever. And it's all thanks to their incredible array of easy to use building blocks. Web design has never been this easy. So right now I'm going to go through and see if I want to keep any of these blocks that I've added for Stealthy Woods website. Um, so I'll catch up with you in the next video. But if I don't see you, have a <laughs> good afternoon, good evening, and good night. <laughs>